Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Place. Welcome back to EU4 Byzantium, where we are at war with Castile, and he's being a stubborn little shit. He's got high enthusiasm for whatever fucking reason. His capital's in San Francisco, and I'm not going to sail to San Francisco. But what I will do is I'm going to sail some Deuteroonies down here to the Canaries, where he has a fort. And I'll dump off some troops on the fort. Hey, Portugal left the coalition against us. Congratulations, Portugal. In fact, the coalition against us is pretty much gone. Every few years, it just cycles. Coalition on, coalition off. Coalition on, coalition off. And currently, it's in coalition off mode. Bohemia will be forced to give the Commonwealth 10% war reps. Wow. So the Commonwealth got no land. He took war reps instead. You silly Commonwealth. You're just the silliest. Claims on Ostmarch. Very nice. Where's my boots? Well, we got claims on Ostmarch. Let's claim some more shit here. Our truce with Austria is over. And I would love to go to war with him to take some clay. I wish I had uh, Imperialism CB. We're just not there yet, are we? We're getting there, though. We're getting there. Tech 23. Yeah, why don't we focus on that? So don't annex my vassal yet. Use all of my monarch points to get to Tech 23. Imperialism CB is just really good. Lost a claim on Hungary. That's okay. All right, let's dump it off here. Get that fort siege down. It's just a level two, which means it's a basic fort. It should be considered outdated. So uh, on the on the siege view, you should see a zero instead of a negative two for the level of the fort. And if the fort's up to date, then it's negative two. There we go. Yeah. So since it's in there you go. Modified by plus two to the fortress being obsolete. So instead of a negative two here to our dice rolls, it's a zero. That's fantastic. Should be no time at all to siege that down. Okay, claim on Wurtemberg. Let's claim Landshut again. I was a little disappointed to lose that claim. Not that it's a very important province. It's just, it's situationally important. Like... As far as in the European situation, it's important. As we progress into Germania, it's important. France went and had a baby. You silly goose. Well, Italia is pretty much ours. The only parts of Italia that we don't currently own are this region, Savoy, and this region, Eastern Milan. We just don't own them. Uh, sure, tech up. Very nice, we got some new heavies. So we should focus on upgrading our fleet now. Our trade ships and our heavies can both upgrade. Wonder how expensive that'll be. Probably very expensive. Actually, when's the next tech? 19? We might as well not upgrade now because there's a new tech coming up soon. Yeah, 19. In fact, if we wait for tech 23, we can just upgrade like crazy. Yeah, let's just wait. Look at this, we're at 14% already. We just got here. We just got here. 95 days, they're at 28% already. Holy shit. That's what you call a quick siege on an obsolete fort. It could be even more if we had um, 10 cannons. It'd be even more. We'll probably upgrade our armies at some point from 6 cannons to 12. Because most of our armies have 6 cannons right now. This one has 7. Alright, so can I peace out now? Yeah, okay, now he'll do it. Really? You won't give me that? Sure. Gosh darn it. Medium enthusiasm. I just want to take all of his Iberian clay, and there's no reason for him to not give it to me. He's just being a stubborn little shit. Well, he gave me almost everything. I guess I can get Asturias later. I don't want to, though. Like, why... No, if I'm if I'm patient, he'll just give it all to me. Right? Right. Hey, good job, Molly. Molly has chased the European look at that. The Europeans have been chased out of this area. Portugal, Castile, England, all of them had land in here. Molly westernized and kicked them all out. That's fantastic. That's Scotland, that's not Castile. Yeah, I'm not gonna sail. I'm not gonna sail to San Francisco because it, it literally is so far around the world. We have to go all the way around. Yeah, there's just no reason. No reason. I'm just gonna go home. 
I would love to take the canaries here. It just doesn't seem very feasible. No, your peace deal sucks probably. I'm not even going to look at it. Okay, he's getting closer. 98 out of 103. Just give him a couple months. He'll, he'll come around. You might as well upgrade with each tech. Well, no. If you upgrade with each tech, you're you're putting your ships down for the count. You're, you're taking them out of commission for a long period of time, like a whole year, just to upgrade them. So the more often you upgrade, uh, the more downtime your ships have. And that's really up to you whether or not you give a shit about downtime. I, I do give a shit about downtime. I think downtime sucks, uh, on trade ships especially. Holy shit, Prague is 43 development? All right, I'll claim Pilsner. I didn't realize Prague was 43. De That's nuts. That is a lot of development. Wow. What is this? What the fuck? Is Nova Scotia going independent? Nova Scotia is going independent. With the help of Portugal? Oh, man. You're not going to win that. He's at war with the Commonwealth, Austria, Denmark, and Scotland? <laughs> You're crazy. You're crazy. France, would you join against me? I think you would. France is a little shit. Yeah, he would join against me, you little fucker. You little fucker. Alright, well, we got our claim back on Lund. Shoot, let's claim some more. Oh, we lost our claim on Milan. Let's get that back. That is a great province. In fact, I should probably just demand that uh, with a threatened war. Just get it. So that France won't have any con contact with Austria anymore. Alright, is this enough for peace now? Should be. There we go. See, I just had to wait a little bit. It's all good. All good. Take a little cash. Get rid of your claims. Alright, well, that'll do. Okay, perfect. 70 overextension. That's all good, man. Oh, look at that. Byzantine Iberia. Yes. Yes. So good. Put the autonomy up. Thank you for doing business with me, Castile. I knew we would get along. I really did. All right. Uh oh. The clergy and the nobles are upset. You guys are always upset. Now it's just the nobles. Shut your hole, everyone. Now it's really easy to make them not be super duper upset, but it's not so easy to keep them like in the perfect range of 40 loyalty and like 20 20% province ownership or whatever the fuck it is. They have the, the sweet spot and it's kind of hard to keep everyone in the sweet spot at the same time. Persia's just got some rebels. Should be able to handle that. Uh, we haven't kept relations with Persia. Let's, let's make them happy again. So that they leave us the fuck alone. Also, we can probably turn some of these forts off. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, that looks nice. Isn't he Iberia? France does not want my land. Of course not. In fact, France doesn't want any land anywhere. That's pretty impressive. Uh, whereas I want Portugal and Tunis. Yeah, that would be a good border for me. Throw the Canaries in there. The Azores. Madeira. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and uh, maybe these two. Just put them on the do-want list. Looks good. Now, 
Now my vassal still has a claim here, and I would love to get him this land, but I don't know, man. Easier said than done. Lost our marriage with the common derp. They should just offer it again. I don't really have a diplomat available, so hopefully they offer it. I still can't rival anyone that I want to. I kind of feel like my next rival is going to be France. It's just going to happen, right? At least the conversions are pretty quick. Already converted Galicia. That was quick. And the revolt risk is zero now. Holy shit, that's all we have to do is convert it and the revolt risk just goes to zero. Wow. That's pretty nice. Yeah, the heretic's being cleansed at a pretty quick pace. Thanks to seven missionaries and a whole bunch of bonuses. Hey, free stability. Nah, we'll get our stability some other way. Uh, let's keep building universities because they're awesome. Free diplomats. Well, hmm. Don't really need to top him off. Did we marry again? No, we didn't. Uh, I need a little break here. I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, we are back. So where were we? We're fabricating on Bohemia. I guess I should also be fabricating on Austria. As much as possible. Price go? Sure. Why not? And Portugal as well. So as soon as we're done with uh, shaking Persia's hand, we'll go back to Portugal. Coring everything we took from Castile. Only 70 OE for all that. Not bad. And a lot of that has to do with our uh, administrative efficiency now. It means we can conquer more land in every war. Pretty nice. Provincial unrest. 23% unrest in Gibraltar. Wow. Oh, because we can't increase the autonomy there. Because his autonomy was too high. Because it's distant overseas for him now. <laughs> so because his capital is in San Francisco, all of his land back over here instantly went to 75 autonomy. Which means it's hard for me to raise autonomy there. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's claim some more shit down here. Bragantia? Porto. Claim Porto. That's a nice province. You know, at some point, if we are able to wrest control of more of Iberia and more of this area from France, we should move our trade capital to Genoa. Which, um, guess what? That's where Rome is! Yeah, move our trade capital to Rome. Because, look at that, there's 72 ducats to be had here. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Whereas at home, we're only making... Yeah, there's only 46 ducats here. And we can push some of that towards Genoa, right? Let's see, this goes to Ragusa. Ragusa goes... Yeah, I can push from Constantinople to Ragusa to Genoa. Oh, man, that's nice. I'm not doing it right now, because I don't need France to have more money. But yeah, I think we're going to be moving our capital to Rome pretty soon. Okay. 
God, our relationship with France is so tenuous. With the Commonwealth, we're fine, but France, oof. A lot of that's because of my aggressive expansion, but it's also because he's being a total dick. I mean, he's just been a douchebag to us lately. Four people voting for Holland for the next emperor. That's fantastic. Here comes the coalition again. As it does, it comes in waves. Go on then. Go on then. Yeah. Lay it on me, coalition broskies. Hey, if you're going to do that, at least let me take some land. Whoa, Augsburg annexed Nuremberg? Whoa, did not expect that. They just took Nuremberg. Damn. Tell you what, I'll take Anjbach. That'll force your hand. Then I can fabricate on these provinces. Nice. Give me Anjbach. Oh, thank you. You're so generous. 76 OE? All right. And now I can fabricate on Saxony and Würzburg as well. So good. You guys want to coalition me? You do it. I don't give a shit. You're actually going to declare on me? I don't think so. I wonder if I can get Pilsner. You know, I probably can. But he recently gave... Well, no, he didn't really recently give me land. I took that like 10 years ago. Okay, a bunch of Castilian cores are in. Let's go convert it. What is this? Nova Scotia! Ah, ah! Nova Scotia has landed in Ireland. This is their independence movement here. Nova Scotia force gives Scotland war reps. Aww. Uh, Kike de Cusco. Okay, so Scotland's colonies remain under Scottish control. For now. For now. We got our claim on Porto. Very nice. Coimbra, Bergantia. Let's do Coimbra. But Bergantia is a fort. Eh, who cares? How much is all this shit worth? 10. 27. Ooh. Uh, 45. 60. 70. 78. 88. 96. So I can do all of that, including Coimbra and Bergantia. That's so good. I'm just going to do it. Just do one war and just take a whole bunch of shit. I'll have to call France into some other war and then declare on Portugal. That's what must be done. How much, uh, how many favors do we have here? Like 10? 17 favors. Oof. All right, bump that up to 100 trust. Wah, 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 wah. Hey, PETA, how's it going? We lost a claim on Alentejo. Well, we'll have to fabricate that. We're starting to lose our claims over here. That's how long it's been. We have not declared on Portugal in forever because he allied France. It's like, I can't really do that. What I can do, though, is demand some provinces be a threat in war, but... Uh... I mean, I could. Jan Casimirs, that doesn't help me at all, because I'm not looking to full annex Portugal. I'm looking to annex certain provinces. There's no way we can full annex Portugal. All right, who needs a hug? I don't think anyone really needs a hug. No, we're pretty good. What about our vassal? Uh, he could use a hug. All right. Yeah, his liver desire is at 40%. Okay. Did Austria coalition us? No, he didn't. Oh, we have a truce? No, we don't have a truce. So Austria did not co on us. Interesting. So I could declare on him as soon as I get France's trust up, which means I shouldn't have 
I, I mean, it favors. I shouldn't have increased his trust, but what I can do is bring in Commonwealth, which is pretty good. What I'm thinking, though, what would make sense is to bring France into war with Austria, and while that war is going, just casually invade Portugal and next most of Portugal, because France will be helping me against Austria. These conversions are quick, man. Yeah, seven months for most of these conversions. Holy crap. Though it does affect our tax income quite a bit. So instead of taxes, we get lowered revolt risk and more manpower. Hmm. Who's this? Leonese Separatist? Okay, go ahead and spawn. See if I care. Go on. Go on. Spawn. Their revolt risk went down to 0 0.1 because we converted it all. Wow. Nice. And now it's gone. Well, Leonie's revolt is not going to happen because they converted so fast. All right. Keep teching up, baby. Keep teching up, baby. Can I eat Florence? He's my vassal. So I could, but eh. Wheels18, thanks for subscribing. Put some love in chat for Mr and or Mrs. Wheels 18. Uh, I could, but he's my vassal. I don't really want to do that. Ugh, stab hit, gross. L2, I appreciate it. The other, everyone else in chat is just lazy, aren't they? So lazy. Ooh, free base tax. Yes. Thank you, PETA. <laughs> Lost a claim on Algarve. All right, we'll get them back. Yeah, I really feel like we're going to be rivaling France here somewhat soonish. Not just yet, but somewhat soonish. Get Heidelberg claimed. That way I can move towards Munster. I want to get towards the English Channel if we can. So that when imperialism comes, I'm ready to rock on England. All right. Anjbach, go ahead and finish your core. You know, that fort is pretty good for us. It's only a level two. Uh, it's, it's right next to a level six. I will probably be upgrading this to level eight fort and I'll get rid of the fort in Ulm because I just don't need all these forts right here. What is this? Gain loyalty and influence with the Cossacks? Sure. Why not? Why not? Alright, so what, what claims did we lose? We lost these two, Algarve and Alentejo. Damn, those are good provinces. Need to fabricate faster, damn it. I need to be able to go to war. Bohemia got re-elected? What? I thought everyone was voting for Holland. Someone switched their vote. There were four votes for Holland and two for Bohemia, and he, he managed to get make it a 3-3 tie. And in the case of a 3-3 tie, the existing emperor, so long as they are one of the one of the guys getting three votes uh, does win automatically. There's no, like, vote off. Castilian Separatists in Gibraltar, Jayan, and Sevilla. Okay. Gibraltar. Sevilla. Oh, these are the places where we weren't able to increase autonomy. Gotcha. That's fine. Let them revolt. See if I care. 
see if I care. And also, Anjbach part separatists. Oh, Anjbach. I don't think you're going to rebel, but if you do, hey, have fun. I'll put an army there. It's time to enter Gaul. Man, eventually. Eventually. Lost another claim on Portugal. Fuck, it's been 25 years since we fabricated on them. Just haven't been able to go to war. I mean, it's the right time to do it. We just need them to not be allied to France. It's so crippling. So when we get when we get um, 10 favors, which will be next year, we'll go to war with Austria, who's not in the coalition against me. France and the Commonwealth will join me against Austria. And then as soon as that war starts, I'll declare on Portugal. Which means I should turn this fort on before I forget. And I should march some troops over there. I'll probably use one stack in the south and two stacks in the north. And then once we've defeated the north, we'll send the rest of the troops south. But that'll have to be next time. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. Come back next time for a war with Austria. Who else is in that war? Austria, Hungary, Scotland. Oh, Scotland. Hey, I might take a province from Scotland up here. That'd be nice. Just one little province. That's all I want. I just need a foothold up there. That's it. So it's going to be Austria, Hungary, Scotland, Brandenburg, Savoy, and Flanders. Oh, Savoy. Cool. I'll just co-bligerent him. Give that to Florence. And then Bohemia is going to join because he's the emperor. And he'll bring in his allies. Frankfurt, Oldenburg, Saxony, Switzerland, Württemberg, and Holland. It's going to be a big, big war. So I hope France and the Commonwealth are up for it. They're both Tech 22. Denmark is also Tech 22. It shouldn't be a problem. But it could be tough. Hey, prepare for war, dude. Spend 10 favors, prepare for war. Yeah. I've never hit that button before because I've never had 100 trust. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Have a good